Hello, my name is Rayford Johnson, and I'm uh, pleased and honored to have received the Foundation for Global Sports Development Award. And I'm pleased not only because uh, I'm, I feel honored for uh, being involved in the world of sports and being fortunate enough to uh, uh, have some accomplishments, but I'm also pleased because uh, I, I, I would like to honor uh, all the men and women who along the way assisted me uh, from coaching to my classmates, to my family, uh, to the community and their support as I moved through uh, the different parts of my life uh, in sports. I think I realized early on through my high school coach, Merle Dobson, who was uh, certain that uh, if, uh, if I had the desire to be the best I could be, I might be able to one day be an Olympian. Well, I worked hard and uh, I put time in, the kind of time that uh, uh, I hadn't thought uh, that it would take that kind of concentration and that kind of effort, but it did. And what that led to was uh, an opportunity to go on then to college and participate, in my case, at UCLA where I played basketball and ran track basketball for Coach John Wooden, who I think is one of the great coaches ever, if not the greatest, and for Coach Elvin C. Drake, who was a, a fine uh, coach of uh, track and field. They talked about being the best you could be, so that those words really became something that became part of my life. After UCLA, I was uh, won a silver medal in 1956 uh, in Melbourne, and I was hoping that I'd get a shot four years later, which I did, and in uh, uh, Rome in 1960, I was fortunate enough to win a gold medal. With all of those competitions early in my life, uh, I, I realized that if, if I could give something back for uh, the opportunities I had, uh, then the best way to do it would be to work the young people and get them started as soon as possible. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, some of the organizations I've been involved with down to the years. Uh, first of all, Special Olympics. It's a program that has really changed the lives of intellectually disabled uh, boys and girls and men and women. There was nothing for them in the early years. And through Mrs. Shriver, they have been led to Special Olympics and with all the volunteers throughout the country, in fact, throughout the world, has now given literally millions of these uh, young men and uh, young women an opportunity to participate in sports. I've also done uh, a great deal of work with uh, New Directions. It's an organization that uh, works with at-risk uh, boys and girls, and they have truly touched the lives of uh, those athletes and the families who are a part of uh, those activities. Uh, Hershey Foods I've been with for uh, 33 years, and uh, that has meant that I've uh, traveled around the country and around the world supporting that effort for boys and girls between the age of 9 and 14. I've done work uh, locally in kids and sports and that's a program for uh, boys and girls who play uh, games and involved in competition uh, in neighborhoods that uh, normally wouldn't uh, wouldn't have the sophistication of the programs that they have. It means a great deal for me to continue to give something back. And I think this award will allow me to do that. It will allow me to stay in touch with the young people I've worked with, to work with uh, the youngsters uh, uh, who are new on the horizon, and to say the same thing that I've always said. Um, if you're gonna be the best that you can be, it's gonna be hard but that's exactly what you want to be, whether you're on or off the field of competition. So I thank all of you for honoring me uh, with your award.